Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and right now we are going to remove the airbag control module on the Subaru Crosstrek. On the Subaru Crosstrek, these are the tools we're using. We have our power drill with our hex bit, our socket wrench with 10 and 12 millimeters, and any small prying tool for the trim. Now, anytime we work with the airbag system, whether it's the module, the seat belt, or the airbag itself, we always want to disconnect the battery first. Now, the battery is right over here. We're going to use our 10 millimeter socket to loosen up the negative side here. Just loosen it up just enough so you can twist this right off and put it completely to the side. Over here on our positive side, we're going to do the same thing and put it completely to the side. And as a precaution, I even recommend to go ahead and put something over the contacts. That way, while we're working with the airbag system, there's no possible way these can come back and make contact with the battery. You can put a rubber glove on it or just a rag of some sort right over the contacts. Now the first thing we want to do when we get right inside the car is start working right on the center console. First thing we're going to do is start working on the knob and the shift. We want to get the shift into neutral. And if you notice, I have my e-brake on already. So right back over here, we're going to use a little pry tool that I have here. You can use a little flathead, something that you can get right into here with and lift up this little plastic cover piece right here. Next, you want to go ahead and grab your Phillips or anything pointy, even a pen or a pencil will do. Or in this case, I'm just using this tool here. You want to press right into there and you feel depressed a little bit when you push in. And when you feel that, you can go ahead and grab the handle here and pull down and put it right into neutral. Next, I'm gonna grab this little prying tool here. You can use a flathead, anything that will get right in between this little crease right here. If you look on the side down here, you can go ahead and just put your tool right in there and basically separate this part from the handle. Once you got that piece down, right over here in front, you have this little ring right here that will come right out. You want to get your little pry tool right in there. You can even use your fingers to get it pry it right out. But basically you want to pull this piece out right over here. This is what it looks like. Once you have this piece out, the whole handle will come right out. Next, we want to go ahead and start working up this whole middle center console here. You can use a flathead or a nice smooth prying edge like this. Something that won't leave any marks on your center console. You can get right in here and start prying this up right here. And you'll notice it will start popping off. There's little tabs. There's some clips that hold it down. You just want to pull it upwards like this. And if you'll notice, it's just being held down by these clips right over here. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, Programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. 
they will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Next, grab your Phillips bit and I'm gonna put it on my power drill here. And I have two screws right over here. Next, I'm gonna come back to my flathead here and I'm gonna start working this crease right over here. Once the back side is up, the front will come up a lot easier. And you just wanna gently put some pressure on the bottom side of this and you'll notice the clips along the sides will come popping right up. Just wanna work it back and forth. And right under here, we have this little plug here. And right down here, you just wanna squeeze on this little button here, squeeze on it and pull. You want to make it past this little knob here. And then once you have it right about here, use your hand from underneath to get leverage and push upwards. Back to the Phillips bit here. We're going to go ahead and start unscrewing these screws right here. Another one right over here. And then I have another one right here. And right over here on the inside, we have one over here. And then we have another one right on the inside here. So everything else is being held down by clips and tabs at this point. So we're basically gonna start right over here on these sides here. And we're just gonna go ahead and start unclipping everything. And same thing on this side as well. And in the middle here. So as you can see, everything is pretty much coming apart. And we're gonna do the same thing on the sides here. Just pull this right off. And now there's the driver side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Go ahead and just push away. And then you may wanna even pull it towards yourself. And now this is the passenger side. Back to the Phillips bit. We want to go ahead and get to this screw right over here. And the other one here on the driver's side. Now we want to go ahead and take out this piece right here. It's connected to the back by tabs and clips. Get a nice good grip on the front here and pull towards yourself. Just like that. And at this point you can see that the climate control will want to come with it as you take it off. But we actually don't need the climate control off. We can just go ahead and separate the two. They're being held down by these clips right over here. And we can leave the climate control right where it is, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and take this piece off. Now in the back, there's just a plug that we need to unplug. And there's basically a little button on the inside of it that you can't see from your angle, but from the inside, you'll feel it and you can just squeeze it and pull. At this point, we can clearly see the module right there. You can tell by its yellow neon plug right over here. It's really important at this point that we have no power going into the car. There's no battery connected to the car. The proper procedure to disconnect the module is to go ahead and disconnect the battery, then the plug, and then the bolts holding it down. Make sure you go in the right order. Otherwise, you do risk deploying your airbags and seatbelts. We don't want that to happen. We're gonna go ahead and grab it right over here, this little button in here. You wanna press down on it, and while you're pressing down on it, go ahead and pull the lever out, and then the whole plug will come right out. Next, go ahead and grab your 12 millimeter socket. We're going to start using it to go ahead and pull up three bolts. The first one is right up front here. And then the last two are in the back, one on this corner and one on this corner here. Now this is what the module looks like on most newer Subarus. If your car was in an accident, dealerships may tell you that there's no way to go ahead and reuse the same unit again. 
They'll tell you you need to replace it. They'll want to sell you a brand new one. Here at MyAirbags.com, we can actually reset the original module, the one that was in your car during the accident. You can send it to us, and we can reset it within 24 hours and ship it right back to you. Collision shops, body shops, and automotive professionals all across the U.S. have been using MyAirbags.com to reset the original module. On each reset, they save hundreds of dollars over buying brand new from the dealership. The reset service is a fraction of the cost of what these cost brand new at the dealership. Now, along with the airbag module, we can also professionally rebuild your seatbelts. Most of the customers that use us, they do send in their seatbelts along with the airbag module together in one shot. So if you're a body shop, a collision shop, or someone who deals with salvage vehicles, you already know that after an accident, the seatbelts will lock up and they'll deploy and they'll throw codes letting you know that you need to replace them. Here at MyAirbags.com, we can actually professionally rebuild the seatbelts that are in the car. Once you get them back from us, they are professionally rebuilt and they will work again just as originally designed. So we're going to take a brief look at how the seatbelt is set up in this car. We want to get right into the seatbelt pretensioner, which is right on the side pillar here. But to get to the side, we have to lift up the panel that runs right underneath the foot panel right over here. So we're going to want to get right in between here. You can use a little flat bar or a flat head. I'm just going to use my hand to get right between the carpeting here and just start prying this foot panel right up. And it's being held down by some clips. Once you have this part lifted up, you can go ahead and start working on the side panel here. And you want to go ahead and just pull it, grab it, and just pull it away from the pillar. We're going to continue right up the side here. Once you have the front side of this pulled away, we want to go ahead and get in the back seat and continue from there. Now, just like in the front, we want to go ahead and do the same thing we did with the foot panel here. Just go ahead and lift it up. Once this is up, the side panel here is free. And basically, we just want to push it away from the pillar. Now we have a really clear view of the seatbelt pretensioner right here. This is the main seatbelt housing right here. This is where the seatbelt rolls into. And this part here deploys. It pulls the seatbelt in, it locks up, and it will throw codes letting you know to go ahead and replace the seatbelt. Or you can go ahead and get it professionally rebuilt here at MeyerBags.com. Now, different years, makes, and models have different types of seatbelts. Here on this car, this car has a triple stage seatbelt. That means there's three parts that deploy. And you can tell by counting the plugs on them. The plugs on this one, there's two up here. The yellow and orange plug right up there. This plug over here, the yellow and black plug right here with the little bluish tint wire right here. This plug right here is actually connected to this one up here. So you don't have to count that one. The third one, however, it's called an anchor tensioner. If you follow the seatbelt into the floor here, you can pull this back. And right down here, you'll see another plug right there, that yellow plug that looks just like the other ones we saw up there. You also notice on this, it has a long cylinder shaped tube right there, that silver tube that runs parallel to the side of the car right there. It's all connected in one piece, right where that yellow plug connects. That's all one piece right there. And it connects right here, it runs up here and right back down into the main part right here. Now this is the passenger side. Now the driver's side will be set up just the same. If you want to go ahead and remove the seatbelt, first you would make sure the battery is disconnected. No power going into the seatbelts. Then you want to go ahead and disconnect the plugs. You want to unclip these plugs and disconnect them. There's one here and then there's a two up here. You want to make sure you disconnect those plugs first. Then onto the hardware. There's a big bolt right down there that you want to go ahead and unscrew. Then if you follow the seatbelt up, right up into here, there's going to be another bolt holding this mounting bracket right in place. You want to go ahead and disconnect that part. Then the seatbelt will run back down. Right over here, you want to go ahead and take that off right there. And then lastly, this part right here. 
After you have removed the deployed seat belts on the driver and passenger side, you can go ahead and put them inside of a box along with your airbag module. Next, go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, We'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project. Thank you.